Google Maps telling me to throw a bike across the bridge. How's it going guys? So we're back in Oasis City and today we're actually going to explore the next city over uh, in this prefecture, uh, Ichikawa City. But first, as usual, we're going to have to go rent our bike and uh, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here we go, back on the road. Let's explore the next city over. Ichikawa City, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, right now it is freezing. It's in the middle, it's the middle of November and my hands are so cold right now. It hurts so much. Well, the one great thing about today being cold is that there's no one on the street, so I can just run so I don't have to worry about running people over constantly. I'm not gonna lie, because there's no people, I've actually like ran over a few red lights but just didn't notice people were stopping. Oh, you gotta go up the bridge and up an incline. I don't think I'm ready for that. 7% incline, you might as well kill me at this point. So we just we just crossed that bridge over there and now we're finally on the main island of Ichikawa City. Oh. Yeah, it is really cold out here. It's like it was so cold it's hurting me. But it is nice to see other joggers this early in the morning on a cold day uh, exercising with you. So uh yeah, we're, we're gonna be cycling across this riverside bank thing, river thing, and uh yeah. Let's enjoy the views of the waterside. Oh, bloody brilliant. Google Maps telling me to throw a bike across the bridge. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Burps, 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 burps. Off the bridge and into the city. Google Maps would be crazy. It's telling me to go up this thing. No cars, no cars, no cars. No cars. Oh, Jesus. How, how is this road safe? I'm so scared of a car coming right up behind me and like grazing my ass right now. Okay, I think we can get away with going down here. Maybe, hopefully. Please don't run me over, please don't run me over, please don't run me over. Okay, out of the woodwork. Oh, jeez, this place looks epic. So right now we're at the Hyoke Kyoji Temple in Ichikawa. Uh, it's a pretty big shrine in Ichikawa, and if you see... Boy, is this thing massive. So uh, let's go check it out and see what this place has. The Hyoke Kyoji Temple was founded during the Kamakura period. This temple also contains one of Japan's national treasures, the Risho Ankoku, which are presented to the public on November 3rd. But being the dumb foreigner that I am, it's the end of November and I didn't do my research beforehand. Yeah, I'm not too sure if this is all a temple or I'm trespassing on people's property because uh, right on the side there seems to be like actual houses here that people live in. So. Uh, Let's hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> well, it seems like the main attraction, or the main temple, I guess, of this place is uh, under construction over there. So I guess we can't visit the main thing, but let's uh, check out other stuff that's around here. The temple was also recently repaired in 1987, so hopefully it can withstand my fat ass and not leave a big hole on the floor. Oh, that's a fat one too. Alright, now that we're done here at the Hyoke Kyoji Temple, we actually need to hit the road because, uh, believe it or not, surprise, surprise, we're behind schedule again, so we really need to hit the road again and uh, make up for lost time. So, uh, let's go! This bicycle lane is so small. I'm so scared I'm getting like clotheslined by a car behind me. Cars, 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 cars. 
All right, here we are at our next destination. Uh, this place has the most amazing views of Ichigawa City and will give us a quick overview of the places we're gonna explore today. So I'll see you guys in a bit and uh, hopefully it's not too cold up there because, uh, oh, my hands are already frozen. <laughs> Here we are at the top of, uh, of Ichikawa Tower. It's an observatory that outlooks the entire city. Oh, oh. but yeah, looks great. And uh, let's see what it has. So that right there, that river is what separates uh, the city, Oriasu City, the city where I'm from, where as Disneyland, and from Ichikawa City. That small river over there. If you go a little more on that side, this side is uh, a city in Tokyo called Edogawa City, which maybe we'll one day visit. But yeah, so we just came from over there, Oriya City, crossed the river over here to Ichikawa City. Yep, and that's where we're headed, over there. So back in that direction was, uh, was uh, Oriya City. And so we came up all the way up here, over here. And then today we're gonna go go a big, big circle all around there and around and back home. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty long cycle today. It's about like 50, 60-ish kilometers. So I uh, wish me luck. <laughs> so yeah, that was the observatory deck. It's free, so uh, feel free to come up. And you get a great view of the city. Today actually kind of sucked because uh, today was actually kind of cloudy, as you can see. But uh, yeah, I imagine at night or on a clear sunny day, this place would be great. So uh, yeah, if you do come to Japan, just visit any like observatory deck. You get a great view of the city. But now we're gonna head to our next destination. All right, here we are back at the riverside. So yeah, we're gonna head to our next destination, but uh, along the way, hopefully enjoy the views of the ocean or the river, I guess, not the ocean, the river. So uh, let's go. All right, let's go. There's just nothing I love more than having the wind in your hair. If you ask me to choose between the city and the country, I would most likely say the city, but it's views like this and rides like these that uh, really sometimes wish like, city and rural could meet in the middle and we get views like this. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's see where these lead us. After cycling for a few hours, I decided to take my first break along the Edo River, the river that separates Edogawa and Ichikawa City from each other. All right. Small break over, let's uh, head back on the bike and head to our next place. Little did I know I really needed that break. The next location is 11 kilometers away and in the more rural part of Ichigawa City, which made navigating around harder. Needless to say, I got lost, making an already difficult cycle even harder. Oh geez, we finally made it. Oh, after like 45 minutes of cycling, it's supposed to be like 30, but I got lost, had to like relapse some areas, but we're finally here at the uh, Ichikawa City Zoo. Get to see more animals, hopefully we're gonna see some monkeys, really hoping for the monkeys. So uh, yeah, let's see what this zoo has to offer. All right, here we are, Ichikawa City Zoo. I hope that red, red panda bear is in false appetite. I really wanna see some today. But it might be too cold for them to come out, but we'll see what happens. All right, here we are. And there's even a map to show you what the hell's here. There's a petting zoo with owls and ew, guinea pigs. Farm animals, of horses, red pandas. Uh, oh, there's a monkey house. Oh, jeez. Burps. More red pandas. Oh, and orangutans. All right, so let's get started. This looks pretty promising. Oh, it is way too cold for you guys to be outside, isn't it? Honestly, I'd be doing the same as you guys. 
There seems to be an explanation here. I don't really know what the hell it says. Uh, but maybe whoever can read Japanese can tell me what's up. That's all. <laughs> yeah, they've just been going off like that and uh, I've just been really confused. That's so cute, the two lemurs are cuddling. Yo, Monkey Mountain, Orangutan, and Red Panda? Say less, let's go. Oh, one of the big guys just came out. Oh, poor guy freezing out here and all you can do is sit next to the heat lamp. <laughs> I've been in the same if I were you. Red panda bears are a species of bears native to East Asia. It's characterized by their black and white coat and rotund body. Red panda bears are considered an endangered species so seeing them is always a treat and I can't help but be fascinated by the sight of them. So yeah that was the Ichikawa City Zoo. Uh, it sucked that today it was so cold that most of the animals weren't really all that alive and active. But uh, yeah, if you do come here during on a sunny day or in the summer, yeah, I figured they'd be much more lively and like screaming and running all over the place. But I still recommend you check it out. So it was like uh, 500 yen, which is like $5. So yeah, it's pretty cheap. It is a little out of the way though. Um, like all the places we visited before were on the southern side of Ichikawa. This is on like the north side where there's it's pretty rural, it's pretty scary, but uh, yeah, if, if you have time, come check it out. It's pretty cool, especially the red pandas and the monkeys. All right, now that we're done here, let's head to our next destination. I'm a little tired, so I feel like you guys will probably know what the hell the next thing is. All right, here we are at the Hoten Ryu no uh, Hot Spring. Yeah, after all that cycling, I think I deserve a bit of a break. <laughs> I'm gonna unwind in the Hot Spring and then cycle on on the way back home and then that'll be the end of the day. So I'll see you guys in a bit and maybe I can show you a little bit of what the Hot Spring is like. There it is. All right, here we go. Oh, geez, my, my thighs are so tight right now. All right, I just got out of the onsen, feeling fresh, uh, new set of clothes, and you know, just like last time, we gotta order the food and see what it's like. And it seems like this time, the food is a lot better than it was last time. So let me show you what I got. I got some Dora ramen and some um, fried chicken. Just on looks alone, it looks a lot better than last time. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick bite to eat, and then I'm gonna head back home. I should mention I had no idea what I was ordering because uh, the vending machine uh, that I had to order from was all in Japanese. So I had to ask like the staff at the side, it's like, oh, what do you recommend? She's like, I recommend this and this. I was like, okay, here we go. So yeah, after our first few bites, uh, yeah, this is definitely a lot better than the uh, on, than the hot spring in my, my own city. So uh, yeah, whereas the other one, I'd probably go once and then never go, go again. This place that I actually see myself coming here. If it wasn't like so far away, I'd probably come here a lot more often. All right, just my luck. It's raining right now, so uh, we're gonna have to pedal back in the rain. But uh, yeah, I do feel really relaxed from the onset. So hopefully I can make it back, back home and return the bike in one piece. So uh, see you guys back on the bike and uh, hopefully we can make it back home soon. All right, cycling in the rain. Let's go, I'm not looking forward to this. This is miserable, absolutely miserable. It's like raining, my phone's almost about to die and I'm scared my phone, well, my phone's about to die because of battery and I'm scared the phone's about to die because of the water. Yeah, it's like double jeopardy. I really hope I make it back soon. As much as I like trains in Japan, this is not the time for it. <laughs> this is really not the right time for this. Today would have been the perfect day if it weren't for the rain. But overall, today was fun. We first visited the Hyokei Kyoji Temple, then the Ichikawa City Observation Deck, and after that, the Ichikawa City Zoo, and finished the day with an onsen. So if anyone is interested, I've included all these places in the description below. But anyway, yeah, 
So that's Ichikawa City. I'm tired. I'm wet. It's raining. So I guess I'll see you next, guys next time when we explore the next city in Chiba Prefecture. Okay, bye. See you next time.